you know, the lights were off for a while and I, I remember, I remember asking my mom, I said, mom, you know, like, I think after the first week, I said, mom, how long do you think the lights gonna be off? And she's like, I don't know, I'm trying. And she says, you know, um, it, it might be off for a little bit. And um, I just, you know, I remember just feeling, um, like why, you know, like why is this? Why does keep happening? Why, why us? Like why is this a part of my story? Why do I have to go through this? Just as a kid, you know, just. By the way, like both apartments are two bedrooms, so it was myself, my stepfather, uh, my mom, my brother, and my and my and my sister. And what we did was we turned the den into a bedroom, you know, so we. However, the best best way we could, we, we turned it into a bedroom. So that was my, me and my little brother's bedroom. And I remember just going in my bedroom, man, and just like trying to, trying to hold everything in, you know, and uh, because I could not, could not understand why we were struggling so bad. You know, I would, I would go to my bedroom and um, I would just sit down and, and just try to wonder like why why were we struggling so bad you know I, I couldn't get it and it just felt like my whole life was like that you know we, we left one struggle to another and it's just a lot going on you know and when you got nothing to do I mean you're left to you know you have no lights you have no TV you have nothing as a kid you just I mean, all you have is your thoughts you know um, and I had a lot of thinking, you know. I reserved a lot, I held a lot in. And two weeks go by, and my mom, you know, tells us, uh, you know, something changed, and, you know, they were getting ready to, to pay the light bill, and it didn't happen. And it was getting a little bit too much because we were going to school and and I'm um, coming home and it was just it, it was not working out and so my my mom basically asked if we wanted to go stay with somebody in the meantime and uh, and I wasn't comfortable with that so we just we stayed until the light turned on. And that was a really, that was a really tough time, man. That was just really tough, you know? I remember all the food in the fridge spoiled, and it was, it was just a lot going on. And on top of that, going to school, trying to focus and trying to stay out of trouble, things of that nature. Um, so eventually, light turns back on, and we're all happy, and you know, things are okay. But now at this point, you know, we, my parents didn't really, my, my mom and my stepfather didn't really talk much about what our next steps were. And and I was always curious. I, I want to know, is this going to happen again? Is this something that we're going to keep going through? And, uh, and I think they reserved a lot of that to protect, I guess, to protect us, but you know, I just I just wanted to know. Eventually, what ended up happening was um, my parents weren't able to uh, pay the rent anymore, and then we were now on the verge of um, eviction. And I remember my mom telling me, "Hey." Uh, we're about getting ready to move again, you know. It's, it's, it's time to go again. And at this point, I had things pre-packed because I, I knew it. I just had a feeling. I, you know, I knew it. I knew it was. I knew it wasn't forever. I just didn't think it would be so soon. So, at this point, I remember mom saying, "Hey, we got we got a week left." And then we gotta, we gotta be up out of here. And we didn't have, 
we didn't have anywhere to go. We didn't have anybody to call. It was, it was one of those situations where we were just on our own. Thankfully, there was a, um, a friend of my mom's who her kids and um, my little brother, they went to the same elementary school so they would catch the bus together. And she kind of knew the struggles that we were going through. Um, and she offered her place um, for us to stay. And so during the time that my mom was getting things together and trying to figure out where to go, and just so we could be comfortable, me and my siblings, we went living just maybe two apartments down, closer to the elevator, um, living with that wonderful lady who offered her space, you know, saw the struggle, you know, of my mom. So, so yeah, you know, um, thank God for that lady who offered her space um, with her kids. I mean, she, she already had a full house but she dedicated a bedroom for myself and my siblings and one bed for us to sleep in. So all three of us were sleeping in one bed. It was great, you know, it was AC, it was cool, electricity, there was food, and you know, we were okay temporarily. Um, my mom, in the meantime, my mom and my stepdad are still trying to find a place and um, we just weren't, we weren't able to find a place. Um, fast enough. And so, just two doors back this way, there was a, uh, there was an elderly uh, lady, uh, she wasn't really that elderly, but she, older lady, she had her daughters living there, her grandkids living there, and some other people. There was probably already six people living there, and she actually offered us um, one of the, one of the bigger rooms for, for our entire family. So it was, it was me, again, my siblings, my mom and my stepdad, we were all living in one room. So we left this wonderful lady who gave us, a, a, gave the, at least just us, the kids, a place to stay while mom was sorting things out. And after we couldn't find a place fast enough, we went living with um, this other lady that lived just a couple doors down. Um, and my mom actually knew her from church too as well. Uh, one, of, one of the churches that we used to go to. And, um, and so yeah, we were all there living in one room. One room. You know, uh, me and my brother, we slept out in the living room and my mom and dad slept in their bedroom and in the bedroom and things of that nature. And we, it was six other people in there, man. And um, we, we, we made it work.